Throughout this module, I wanted to cover the key core concepts that you'll need to know in order to understand how you can utilize Bubble's no-code tool to bring your own application to life. Let's get started. We were to jump over into our web browser here and open up a brand new Bubble application. What you'll find is that all of these elements are clearly displayed on our left-hand menu here. So at the top here, you'll see that by default, we have our design element opened. And this just allows us to design the visual interface of our application that our users will see and engage with. And then once you've finished designing your application, you can start stitching everything together with workflows. And so workflows are essentially a way to create logic within your application. And by logic, I'm just referring to the process of what is used in traditional coding. So you can see here by default, Bubble has already created a workflow for us. So every single time this get started button is clicked here, it opens up our workflow editor. And within this, you can choose an action to occur, which leads me to the database editor. This is the data tab here which just allows you to create a series of what's called data types within your application. So this just allows you to identify all of the data that you would like to store within your actual application itself. Within Bubble, you can choose to create different data types, which just identifies anything a user will be creating within your application. If you were to open up your app data tab here, you could see a list of all of the data within your application that you have saved. And then from here, the final I just wanted to cover was the ability to integrate third-party tools and services. And so on the left-hand menu here, you're going to see a option to open up what's called the plugin tab here. And so one of my favorite features about Bubble is that if you're unable to build something natively within the platform, thankfully there is a whole library of third-party plugins that allow you to essentially add power-ups to your application. And when it comes to searching for all of the different types of plugins available, you can just open up the Bubble plugin library. And as you'll see, this library includes a whole suite of additional Bubble plugins and power-ups that can help you take your application to the next level. The other thing I would like to mention is just the ability to integrate third-party APIs directly within Bubble. So what you'll see here is that there is a plugin called the API Connector, and this just allows you to integrate with real APIs to either retrieve or send data to third-party apps. And look, to be honest, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular module right now. As I mentioned, the purpose of this section in our tutorial was just to break down the four main concepts within Bubble. So that is, once again, the ability to create your own database, design your own front end of the application, build workflows to stitch everything together, and then also have the ability to integrate with third-party tools and services.